Welcome back to Board Games Daddy. As you've seen in the introductory video, I have a big collection of Munchkin and I would like to un unbox everything in the channel and uh, share with you the experience and present you Munchkin as a, a big collection and a game. So one of the initial videos I'm going to do is this one. Munchkin, the base game, deluxe edition. So if you're not familiar with Munchkin, this is the original game um, and then if you take a look online, you will find that Munchkin created different versions of the game based on different teams like Warhammer, Superheroes, Zombies, Apocalypse, um, Warhammer 40k, and then Disney versions, Rick and Morty versions. You get an idea from the introductory video. But I'll start by giving you the first one, the original one, the one that started it all, Munchkin. And uh, Munchkin is a card game and uh, with a well, lovely art, the original one, not the guest artist that come and go and create um, different art. I love it because originally the idea is to joke about Dungeons and Dragons. So you see dragons, and you see like big monsters that are references to Dungeons and Dragon monsters. And the difference for the Deluxe Edition, normally the game is like a rectangular small box smaller box but this one brings the the board that i'm going to show you okay and it brings this board basically the board is completely optional um, it's a way for you to track your character level but you can track it mentally or just in a piece of paper uh, you change a lot back and the forth in levels so it's a good way for you to track it looks good on the table but it's not necessary so if you want any of these options if you if you have the chance to go to the regular ones it will maybe save some money but you won't have like this beautiful board on the table so this is how they present munchkin you kick a door you fight the monsters and you grab the treasures in a quick short dungeons and dragons way uh, but but munchkin is a card game um, a competitive card game because it's like immortals only one in the end can only be one the one that arrives to level 10 first if you get to level 10 you win so inside you'll get in the base game 168 cards you get the die you get also the 12 standees because this game could be played up to let's say what they what they recommend from three to six yeah so you need some a, a, a small crowd to play this minimum three to be, to be funny it's not worth it one against the other, so you need at least three to create some dynamic, some conflict between players. And up to six. Hmm. Not sure if this can indeed be played with more than six. Um, I'm not aware of any limitation, but maybe it may become too chaotic. Okay, so let's open and take a look on the inside. So you'll see that this edition is recent and it brings it shows all the expansions that can, you can acquire. Also mentions Warhammer 40k, also with some expansions already. So this looks so good because they also joke. The Sisterhood, the Tau, right? Space Marines here in, in uh, Munchkin artwork. So I, I'm looking forward to unbox that as well. And then I don't own this at the time we're recording the video, which is Star Munchkin. So this jokes about Star Trek, Star Wars, everything that is space related. So this is like a space um, stormtrooper there, right? And again, Warhammer 40k. Uh, so I, I think you only have the big box for this one and you can see the kind of cards that you'll find. I think Munchkin is the same game, re game regardless of the expansions or the teams. I think they like copy the, the game mechanic mostly and the kind of cards and they just, they just adjust to the theme. But after all this unboxing, probably we'll be able to have a clear view because I've never played the other versions. Okay, so you get the cards, we'll get there. You get the standees. For the board so the standees basically it's the male and female version of each of the six colors with the standee and you use this to walk around 
into boar. Let's take a look into boar. Here's the board. It's a rectangular board as well. You can put the cards here and you start one and go through the dungeon and the one that gets level 10, voila, you win, right? And you use the, 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 the standees to do that. Um, the rules are simple. It's just a piece of paper um, divided in three, right? Folded in three and you get the, the rules in a, in a short way so you when you have the chance to open the door to fight the monster and get treasures when you fight the monster you need to have at least this level or higher uh, but the other players can while you play uh, use some cards that may make the monster stronger or weaker and then you may need the help of others and you need to negotiate with them what you will give if they win okay there you go the art is so cool and so not a big book just these pages and then let's go let's meet the cards the 168 so let's unbox them for the first time i definitely sh need a knife some kind of knife to open these things because they come in this very tight plastic which considering in considering using a scissor maybe maybe dangerous so the, the the art of it's not just the art it's the, uh, the cards themselves they always try to be uh, funny there's humor in everything in this game so i think it's always worthy to go through all the cards and discuss the kind of joke that is trying to happen there if i'm able to get it and and show you around and have some and we can have some laughs together okay so let's go let's try let's start entering munchkin world so sheet so this is a paladin or a cleric uh, and you can cheat by doing stuff a curse you lose with level and another curse this time you get the lightning in your ass another curse you lose your armor yeah because you have items and you can equip them curse lose your footwear so you just step on something you should not you lose your headgear you change your class, you also have classes, so you can equip yourself as many classes as we'll, we'll see. And you can also have different races with different abilities. And you can have, you can change the sex, right? <laughs> that makes difference in, in, in some, for some cards, we'll see. Okay. Why is she, okay. Is the idea that she was a man there and now she's a female inside the armor? Chicken on your head. It's a curse. The Duck Duck of Doom. I don't get this one. Is it Doctor Doom or Duck of Doom? Maybe there's something there. Income tax. You need to pay something. Lose a big item. A big item is the one that you need to ants to carry. Lose a small item lose a small item curse lose two cards from your hand lose your class so you were a dwarf and you become a normal regular guy lose your race you were elf and now you're normal maling mirror divine intervention half breed okay you may have two races half breed Will that help? help me out here okay so stealing the knife an illusion and the monster goes away, maybe. Mate. Oh, you can add another monster. Hey, he's a friend here. Out to lunch. The monster is on break. Super Munchkin. So you can have two classes. That's a. This is a famous. It, indeed, it's the. See how famous it is. It's the iconic image from the game, the Super Munchkin. So the Super Munchkin is this iconic card that allows you to have two classes while you are a super munchkin and you can be a super munchkin like a mage with a big sword truly obnoxious curse lose the item that gives you the biggest bonus there's a wandering monster calling a wandering monster 
laundry monster that's where you want to add things plus 10 to a monster the ancient okay so this the monster becomes stronger plus 10 among us look how big the guy is make the monster a baby minus five plus five to the monster makes the monster more intelligent plus five and here come the classes a cleric cleric another cleric what's that there the card is stained paint a thief and this you see do you see the abilities a female thief another thief a warrior warrior the wizard and the wizard and another wizard they have the same all three wizards although the different artwork they have the same a dwarf dwarf elf elf and health and halfling okay so yep these were mm -hmm. oh, okay so now these have the same back no they don't have the same back so some of them are treasures here now they they look darker because those those are treasures you have them on the treasure pile and when you def defeat monsters you get the treasures and um, you equip them so it's a shield that gives you four bonus for fighting and only warriors can use only humans bow with ribbons <laughs> stuff on the palm boom invoke obscure go up one level obscure rules okay so he's reading all the editions of legends and dragons and finding obscure rules kill the hireling okay so there, there are hirelings that you can have on your side mutilate the bodies you go up on level go up on level and now the monsters the monsters the drooling slime plus five again plus four against elves the lame goblin the mole rat the mole mole rat the plant pit bull so those are very weak monsters level two level four the harpies playing harpy the leprechaun snails of speed pss, pss, pss. The Shrieking Geek. An Amazon. Aww. Face Sucker. Very well known and famous gazebo. Level 8. No one can help you fighting it. The Big Foot. Another famous card. The Foot is so big. The Thong Demon. A wannabe vampire. The Insurance Salesman. The Wright Brothers that invented the flight, the plane, the Bull Rock. So this one is from Lord of the Rings, right? The Bull Rock, and then the Squidzilla, and the strongest monster in the base game is the Plutonium Dragon. Hmm. Okay, so we're just in half of the cards. What's left here? More monsters more items at least there's a hireling here which is the companion okay Open okay hireling allows you to carry one extra item and gives you a bonus okay horde still a level Wand of Dowsing, Polymorph Potion, Co Potion of what? Potion of Confusion. Okay, so I am confused in reading it. Flaming Poison, Flask of Glue, Freezing Explosive Potion, the Potion of Alitosis. Okay, so we haven't seen the floating nose, should be here. Potion of idiotic bravery. Sleep potion. Yippee water. 
in electric radioactive acid potion, friendship potion, the monster becomes friend, invisibility potion, nasty tasting sport drinking, a doppelganger summons an, an exact duplicate, instant wall, load the die, the magic missile, very famous, legend and dragons attack. A spell from the wizards. Rosa, tube of charm. Potion. Boots of running really fast. A magic lamp. Wishing ring cancels a curse. Another wishing ring. Knee pads of allure. Knee pads. Sandals of protection. So these are the foot. Yeah. Pretty balloons. 11 foot pole. Helm of courage. Leather armor, a dominatrix. Slimy armor. Spiky knees. Rat on a stick. Horny helmet. Boots of buck kicking. Buckler of swashing. Flaming armor. So we've seen this. This one on the box, right? It was here, yes. This was here. Flaming armor. Plus two bonus. The singing and dancing sword. I <laughs> singing and dancing. Sneaky bastard sword attacking. Oh, he's reading Play Troy instead of Playboy. Yeah, he's distracted. Really impressive title. Badass bandana. Broad sword. <laughs> Broad. It's a lady. Broad. Cheese crater of peace. <laughs> Dagger of pressure. G gentleman's club. Pretty the club. Only used by males. Limburger and anchovy sandwich. Limburger was the bad guy from uh, Biker Mice from Mars. Pointy hat of power. Short white armor. Step ladder. Due to only used by offlings to become higher. Chainsaw of bloody dismemberment. The Mithril armor, not usable by wizards. Mithril is from uh, Lord of the Rings. Panty house of giant strength. Rapier of unfairness. Huge rock. Cloak of obscurity. Hammer of kneecapping. Mace of sharpness. Okay, so you go up one level, go up one level, boil a hand here, poor ants, go up one level, bribe GM with food, okay, convenient addition error, 2 plus 2, 22, okay, wine at GM, ah, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, okay, so more, um, Races here, halfling, and monsters crabs, flying frogs, gelatinous octahedron instead of gelatinous cube. We have the gelatinous octahedron, large angry chicken, and Mr. Bones, undead oars, the lawyers, platicor, Pukachu instead of Pikachu, Pukachu. Girl fiends instead of girlfriends, maybe. So many orcs. Flood a floating nose. The natural <laughs> stone golem. Unspeakable, awful, indescribable horror. Something you saw. The hippogriff and King Tut. To that, come on. Good. We've went through Munchkin the base game. Congratulations, huge achievement for me for finally opening my Munchkin copy. And now that we've opened the door for Munchkin, let all the tsunami of Munchkin collection come true. So please, if you are a Munchkin lover, subscribe to the channel. Be aware of all the videos coming into your direction. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a like. Thank you.